A man from South Yorkshire is heading for Scotland this morning to compete in the British Husky Racing Championships. Ian Robinson will be one of nearly 200 competitors. Reaching speeds of 30 miles an hour, Husky Racing requires a high degree of nerve and skill. Although new to the sport, Ian Robinson has already been described as one of the country's most promising racers. As you can see, it's really white knuckle ride. It's great. It's hair raising. <laughs> it's if you like dogs and you like being out in countryside, it's a great sport. Despite the lack of snow, Ian heads for Aviemore in confident mood, hopeful of placing Sheffield. The treatment was administered. I've heard that he's going to be back on Monday, Mike. Okay, now, should you be looking for an alternative sport, you could try your hand at husky racing. Believe it or not, there's an enthusiastic band of followers here in the region. Among them, a Sheffield man who's hoping to place the city on the map by winning this weekend's British Championship. Sam Whichello has been along to watch him in action in Nottinghamshire's Sherwood Forest. Sherwood Forest is a world away from the frozen wastelands of Alaska. But for the last few weeks, it's been the unlikely training ground for Ian Robinson and his pack of huskies. Over the weekend, he'll be among 150 competitors in the Highlands of Scotland for the British Husky Racing Championships. The adrenaline gets pumping. It's just a great highlight. You know, it's I can't explain. It's you've got to do it to, to see what it's like. It's a real thrill. It's competitive to the extent that you try your hardest. You, you, you train all year round, bring your dogs to a peak, and then uh, hopefully everything will come together on the day. I think that if you have any working dog, a dog is there to be worked and uh, we're not going to let a little lack of snow stop us doing it. <laughs> they absolutely love it. Uh, as you've seen, they scream to, to, to run like. It's, it's what they've been bred to do and they love doing it. If there's snow in Scotland, then his wheeled rig will be transformed into a sleigh. Over the two-day event, he'll cover 10 miles at speeds of up to 30 miles an hour. And although he only took up the sport three years ago, He's hoping to be among the contest's elite. I wonder if they'll let me have a go one day. Well, I have a horrible feeling that it's going to be very cold this weekend. The Huskies might like it, but I don't think we will. Down. Health children. This winter, you better sling your skis and snowboards because the latest craze is Husky racing, now the UK's oh. fastest growing winter sport. Absolutely. Untold. Yes. Good morning, vet Michael Payne took the reins in Abbeymore when we went and sent him in search of his top dogs in British Husky rallying. Mush, mush. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't actually very difficult coming down from the mountain and finding where I was going because the sound